A to Z claims from customers who are taking back your money and possibly keeping your product too. It can be super frustrating. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. And in this video, I'm going to give you some recommendations and some tips on how to appeal and win these. So the first thing I have to recommend, and this actual feedback goes towards any ticket filing, is TLDR, don't give them a wall of text. Instead, give them exactly what they need and nothing more. So for example, if you wrote something like this, Dear Amazon, customer support, we hope this message finds you well, and so forth. Paragraphs of text, I actually don't even know where in this line the actual answer of what they're looking for even exists. And what's going to happen is the seller support rep is basically looking for a reason to not give you what they want or what you want, and they'll just close the ticket or respond some copy-paste nonsense. So instead of this long form, go with something significantly shorter, like this. Our tracking information indicates delivery on 5.5. Here's the valid tracking information. Please close this claim in our favor as our valid tracking shows delivery. Now, what is frustrating about this is you'd think that Amazon could just take the tracking number you already put into the system and automate not letting customers screw you over as a seller. That's not how it works right now, unfortunately. And so you're left as a seller clawing back things like this. So it is unfortunately your responsibility once a month, I go through my A to Z claims and I contest them all. I don't win every single appeal, but by showing the tracking and the delivery, I win quite a few of them. Amazon will then recharge the customer and that's more money in my pocket. Generally speaking, the reason that this even happens is that on the internet, customers have figured out how rigged the system is in their favor and they take advantage. And there's three to 5% of the population who buys on Amazon that likes to get free crap. And, and so I would say that 95% of your A to Z claims are from the abusive customers that do this. Now, granted, there's 5% of customers out there on these A to Z claims where their, their package got taken by a freaking porch pirate or it, it wasn't what they expected, and maybe the seller shipped the wrong item. There, there are legitimate reasons why a customer has to do these. But by and large, from my own personal experience, 95% of the claims that come against me are bogus, and the customer is just trying to take advantage and get free stuff. So because of that, I recommend appealing every single one of these. It's in your own best interest, and this is a good virtual assistant labor-type task uh, to do. If you go onto the forms, you'll see similar feedback. One person writes, I have two A to Z claims that are identical. The buyer opens a return, and then while they are in transit back to us, they open up an A to Z claim. So then what happens is the seller's like, oh, I'll just refund them, and this will go away. Don't do that because you can't win the A to Z claim if you refund the customer. The other challenge is that if you do that refund, this will automatically count against your ODR, so you need to appeal the claim. And if your ODR goes too high, you can lose the buy box, you can lose the ability to do FBM shipments and other challenges that affect your rankings and obviously traffic, et cetera. Now, if a brand uses Amazon buy shipping and the package is lost, Amazon will take responsibility for the claim for per their own policies, and that can happen automatically. Having said that, I have a service called My Refund Guy, which is built to claw these back, and even though it's supposed to be automatic, again, it's not. And so uh, the way that the service works is we go in and file these cases on your behalf, lost and damaged units, and lost inbound sh shipments. Both of these, uh, we only charge if we succeed on the claim, and the first $500 is completely on us. That's how confident we are of that if we show you this works, you'll stick around and we'll take a 25% commission on everything thereafter. So um, I have over 300 brands that have signed up for My Refund Guy, and you're going to want to check that out. There's a video that explains that service more at MyRefundGuy.com. By the way, here's what happens when you receive an A to Z claim. You get this email, dear brand name, we received an A to Z claim of the mount, give you the order idea, tell you what's happening, what you need to do. Sometimes you don't have to take action while they review the claim. Other times you do. When they rule against you, you'll receive an email like this. Your account's been debited for the cost of one item on the order number, and they'll tell you the amount. 
And there's and then at that point, uh, you can still appeal it, but they'll tell you you can't. But if you still appeal it, you'll often still win. One of the types of claims that you can get is the item was not delivered, but if you show the tracking number and the proof of delivery, you'll win on appeal. Here in the portal is where you can go to manage A to Z claims. It's basically just slash PWO slash index up there at the top URL. In here, uh, you'll see permissions change alert. You'll see action required under review, options to appeal. So here's one, package didn't arrive. Respond to Amazon, refund the customer, contact customer. You get the idea. Option to appeal. Here's a list of the ones we can do. Appeal decision. And then you can put in there uh, the facts of the matter. Uh, just like I showed you kind of that example here. Here's the valid tracking number. Please close this claim in our favor as a valid tracking shows delivery. If the customer says the item is defective or not as described, check to see if the item has been returned with verifiable tracking. If the customer cannot provide a tracking number proving return, they generally will lose the claim. If customers file claims on custom items, use the Amazon policy to dispute it and win the claim as well. So if it's a custom order, you're generally going to have a lot better time winning those. So like a personalized wine glass with a name on it or beer glass, whatnot, something like that. For return packages, refund within two business days to avoid a claim altogether. So those are my tips on A to Z claims. Check out these other videos for advanced sellers who need to get their money back out of Amazon by understanding how to do troubleshooting and catalog appeals. It's like 50 videos in this catalog playlist right here. You won't want to miss it.